So today I thought I would update you guys on where I'm at with the Suzuki GS650 Cafe Racer build. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. I uh, went ahead and welded the frame on and got the seat situated. Uh, I was going to make a video about it, but uh, it was a little cold out and editing and stuff. I'm still learning. I'm all new to this um, whole YouTube process. So I really like think things through too much sometimes. So I think about things too much and then I'm like, eh, I'll just hold off on it. But I'm going to try to commit to making more videos since I've got a lot left to do. Uh, as you can see here, I've got the front brake. Uh, I've been riding around on it with just the rear brake and it's worked pretty, pretty well. But uh, just for, you know, to not die in traffic. Uh, I'm going to put the brake on. I've got a new gas tank coming. I've got uh, a new battery coming. So, uh, the original look that I was going for with the Cafe Racer, I kind of, I don't know, I just kind of wiped the slate clean and was like, you know what, I'm going to do something different. Just uh, because of the shape of the bike and the way it rides and everything. So, but I'm going to show you guys the bike today and I'm going to start it up for you so you can hear it. It runs pretty good. Um, I haven't synced the carburetors yet. I plan on making a video about syncing the carburetors and getting them dialed in. Um, trying to think of anything else that I want to tell you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean, she rides really well and um, I'm really happy with it. So I'm almost to the point where I'm going to try to situate the title, get the title for it. Um, I did like one of those VIN websites where you can look up the VIN to make sure the vehicle is not stolen or anything. And uh, it passed that, it's not stolen, and uh, I can't find a previous name for the title. So it's just so old that there's like no record of it. So uh, it should be fairly easy to get the title for it, but we'll see how that goes. But um, I'm going to try to commit to making more videos because I've got, you know, more stuff to do with it. Uh, the biggest issue I've run into now is the side covers. I don't, I'm not really happy with the old stock side covers. Um, originally I wanted to give it that cafe racer look where you can just look under the seat and there's nothing there, you know, but um, looking into like the anti-gravity batteries and everything like that it gets, uh, gets a little complicated. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the bike now and we're going to see if I can start it up. Cool. This battery's been giving me some issues, uh, so I'm just gonna have to plug it in to the jumper to start it up. Um, wait for the new battery to come.
also, as you guys can tell, it sounds good, idles good. Um, I went through hell with those carburetors. It, it was leaking. They were leaking through the air jets on the back. I couldn't figure it out. So I finally replaced every single O-ring in those carburetors and it ran great. So um, a lot of people say that the dyno jet kit doesn't work good with uh, CV carburetors or putting pod filters on CV carburetors doesn't work good. But I mean, I'm getting excellent throttle response. I'm having no issues right now. And I still have to like dial the carbs in. So I think I'm gonna be all right. But as you can see, I have the LED light mounted up there. It's not finalized yet. I still gotta do some welding with the frame and paint the frame. Um, and if you're wondering why I have a license plate on a bike with no title, it's because so that I can ride around the neighborhood undercover and uh, hopefully not get in trouble. But I love this project and I'm gonna, like I said, commit to making more videos and everything. I actually love this project so much that I sold my other bike, the Kawasaki Vulcan, just to fund the rest of this, this project. So I hope you guys stay tuned and get excited. Get so excited. Cause I'm gonna do some cool things to this bike. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.